Trigger has returned to save the universe yet again, but not with groundbreaking anime, but by turning us all into furries. They have been oppressed for far too long, some might even say not long enough, but now it is their time to rise up. Welcome to BNA, which for the longest time I thought was the official name, but turns out actually stood for a brand new animal, which is stupid. Trigger also in a video with the anime man stated that they wanted to push the boundaries of sexuality with BNA, to push what can be shown on TV, because Japan has always had an issue with sexuality. Japan does not like sexy stuff on their TVs. Yeah, you heard it here folks. So not only is it another furry show, it's also going to be furry porn. Alright, alright, I, I can I, I can get down with this, you know, let's, let's see how sexual being they can get. Well, that was disappointing. Whoa, wait, 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 wait. Hold on. I can work with this. While there is a distinct lack of lewdness in BNA, there is, however, racism. You see any black characters, huh? Do you? The backbone for BNA story is the prejudice that the animals face at the hands of the humans. See, animals are discriminated against in the outside world to the point where they are publicly hunted down and killed without anyone stepping in to help them. And it got to the point where the animals were forced to build their own city to have shelter, a safe space for animals, where they can be who they want to be free of prejudice and discrimination. While the driving force for the story is the raccoon girls. Did you know she thought she was a tanuki? A, a tanuki, really? She she thought that she was okay. <clears throat> the the main the main thing pushing the plot is her desire to figure out why she suddenly turned into a furry and if it's possible to turn back. But the underlying issue that the show pushes forward is the treatment of the animal species. It's why the raccoon girl was forced to flee to the city. It's how she was able to start a relationship with Wolf Boy because of a terrorist attack paid for by humans. But while this may be the subplot to BNA, I don't think the show is actually handling it that well. <laughs> See, it's not just racism, but an irrational hatred that humans have for the animals. They despise them. They are willing to publicly attack moving buses just to prevent them from leaving the city, which you think they would just let them leave so that they don't have to be around them, but you know, that's, that's besides the point. But why? Why would they go through these lengths? What are the reasons for this irrational hate for the other species? Why fund terrorist attacks? And even the mayor who's supposed to be working with the animals to broker peace talks down on them like they're second class citizens. And the only reason we were given for this is that eons ago, when the universe was first created, there was man, the homos, and there was animal man, no, beast men, yes. Okay, this is it boys, listen up. This is why the Beastmen have faced persecution for all these years, are you ready? This is why they were forced to build their own city and segregate themselves from the human race. Because all those years ago, when the homos first discovered the Beastmen, they immediately started murdering them, God damn it! Like the genocide got so bad that a literal dog god had to come down and save them. All that murdering spawned dog Jesus, like that's, that is... That is what we're dealing with here. After seeing how racist and awful the humans are, you would think that the safe haven for all beastmen would be the most beautiful. Nope, they all kind of suck too, honestly. <laughs> but you think that would actually provide a bit of nuance to the show. You know, your entire group is hated by another group, and while you should be working together to survive, you're barely making it work due to the problems within. Could be interesting, if not for the fact that BNA is not a deep or complex show. It's a show about a loud, boisterous raccoon girl who thought she was a tanuki, who doesn't think before she acts and tries to do the right thing all the time and she yells and screams and, and then you have that edgy wolf who's angsty because it's cool and they women selling kids to humans because it's what you do you know it's just what you do you just gotta sell them kids to get by animals bribed by the same humans who hunt them down in the middle of the streets because you know it's money it's just what you gotta do you know and it's not to say that people can't or won't go against their own group interests especially for money but this isn't the kind of show where characters Characters can be complex or fleshed out enough to be not so black and white. Maybe those beastmen traders took the bribe because they were tired of discrimination from other animals. Maybe they didn't like the direction the city was heading and saw that as an opportunity to make change. But you know, nah, they, they just like money. And I, I mean, what kind of person sells kids into slavery? You you want to know the kind of person? The kind of person who had to do what they had to do. Hey, you lost Trigger. Why did you rob the store? Just had to do it, man. Hey, Itachi, why did you murder your entire clan? Because it's just what you got to do, man. You just got to do it.
You see what I mean? It feels really cartoonish and not in a, oh, we can all get along, we try really hard kind of way. Because even the main character actively tells people to avoid humans because they all suck ass. <laughs> Racism can stem from the fear that another group can't be trusted or, or being able to get over the differences you might have. Holding on to ideas or traits that you believe make you superior like your religion. Do the humans think they're better? Smarter than the animals? Is it fair? Not only does it seem like the show is not going to further address this outside of they just immediately tried to kill us, it doesn't even seem like the theme is on bridging that gap, because right now the show seems to be focused on how can the beastmen better improve their society and remove the human influence. And another interesting point, um, the humans hate the beastmen, the beastmen, well not all of them, hate the humans, but the beastmen as a society has decided that it is not okay, it is wrong, it is disrespectful to be in your beast form, which is really, really weird to be person executed by humans and to build a city for beastmen where humans aren't allowed and then say that the human form is the best form a beastman could be in because you know all that that true animal self is, is lord that is that is something which is again just not addressed by the show at all so being they handles this racism in a very blase oh they're racist because they're racist and they hate the beastman because you know fuck them i guess <laughs> and it's really cartoonish and it's really black and white while at the same time, the show's probably not going to address it in any real way. Like not even having a dialogue about how to come together and work with people who are different than you know, like some, oh, you can do anything if you work hard enough, you know. Like not even that, like the show's just more focused on trying to remove the human influence from the city and trying to get the beastmen to have a better society. Like despite making it the entire reason for why the plot even happens, the show's just not equipped to handle it and it's not going to try either honestly nor does it seem equipped to handle their own societal problems like why would some of your citizens sell children to humans why would your citizens take money for humans to commit terrorist attacks like what would lead people to these decisions outside of just you just gotta do it need that money bro let's just say being a's writing isn't a strong point and i'm honestly mixed on this show because of it it's a simple and pretty energetic show with cute characters and some uh, cool fight scenes and it's not that i need all of my shows to be like death note levels of playing 70 chess every episode i just find the main character kind of annoying and this story not really all that engaging still fun to watch it really lacks any nuance or deeper character writing with six episodes in action i don't think the main character has changed at all really so anyway, this is the end of the video. Are you watching b &A? How do you feel about the show? And again, I don't hate it. If you're just looking for a fun show to watch, then it's certainly worth it. Or if you're furry, if you enjoyed the video, why not drop a like and sub to my channel? You can also check out my Twitter for more content. Peace. Thanks for watching.